Hello again YouTube, welcome back to my channel, this is Captain Khan and for today's video I'm going to be covering one of my 1v1 matches and I'm playing the Bulgarians and I'm facing blue Avelino as the Mongols so this is going to be a two part um, video for game one I actually faced this guy two times in a row and for this game I tried to go for a drush because the Bulgarians get the automatic or free men at arms upgrade from their militia. So I'm going to fast forward here. And doing my normal scouting. I'm about 960 ELO. Pretty low. Not a high ELO. Blue luring his boar pretty nicely there. Three on wood. That's usually something you do for scouts. He does something similar to me and actually blue takes my sheep. I remember this. I think I only found one of them. So I was behind on food. And he makes sure that I don't find it. I send my scout back. I find one. Oh, the scout was all the way there. And I think I just passed by him. He sends two of the sheep back. Wow. And at this point, nine minutes in, I start producing militia. He's already almost in feudal. So for this, I wanted to try to go pretty much an all-in militia slash mana arm rush. I start walling defensively. I kind of messed up my build here because I went with the um, five militia, actually six. And I had my scout forward, so there was a hole. And I should have waited until I reached feudal because the militia were pretty weak. And I go for the villagers, but too weak to really do anything. He had one archer out, which I, I could have taken the fight earlier. And he goes to the TC. Good micro from him. He has four on gold. And at this point, I'm trying to find other villagers. I didn't scout back here properly. Yeah, I missed that. And at this point, on my way to feudal. And then resorting back to going to Castle Age, so trying to get my gold there. And still, if I had my men at arms, I could have taken these fights a lot sooner. Auto villager there. I should have waited to attack. Now he's ready for it. Lose the militia there. And there you go, see the automatic upgrade. Didn't have to research it, so it makes things a bit easier if you're going for a drush or you're going for early men at arms. And here he has enough archers out. He actually micros pretty well here. Let's see this fight. Yeah, so takes down my scout, which should have been good for the archers. And here he has his military buildings close by, so he can get the reinforcements much faster. And at this point, he's way ahead of me. Let's see. Actually, I have more villagers than him. I think at this point, I thought because I was delayed, um, he might have been way ahead. Maybe his TC has been idle. Military is always a hard thing to use as an indicator. I kind of felt like it was GG there. He has a composition to beat my man at arms, so I had to go for a switch. 
I have to go into an archery range for skirms. And they're pretty exposed here with my base. I have the gold on the front. If he just came earlier, he could have hit this gold here, pushing me off with his archers. I got some idle time here. And I try and create as much farm as possible, so I send as much to wood. And I'm trying to make my way to Castle Age. He's actually pretty far in resources from Castle Age. Let's see how this works out for us. And I'm way ahead in villagers. Not way ahead, but three. Three is a good, a good amount for my forward rush. And here he comes with the archers. Let's see what he's going to do. He kind of scouts around a bit. And I'm actually on my way to Castle Age. So here I'm not feeling too bad. Lost one vill. On my way to Castle Age. I feel if I can just hold for a bit. I can make a push or a counter attack. I got my skirms here finally. And we we'll have a good amount of food and gold. My big mistake was I didn't have a stable. So I couldn't even make any knights and I was pretty low on wood and I was contemplating do I build a second TC? Do I build a stable? And I have farms expiring so my wood was just in a really bad situation so I just continue to make bills and I decide to go forward with these uh, skirms he's now ahead in bills because of my idle time for my TC and he has so many archers um, which counter my pikemen and my longswords so I don't think I can take this fight he also has scouts. Good composition there. The scouts can kill uh, my skirms. So I decide to back out, save whatever units I do have. And there we go, I get my stable. But kind of too late. I got my second TC out at least. I'm trying to salvage this game after feeling like I was behind. Back ahead in bills. I think I go too hard with um, my booming and he has camels so my knights are countered he's got the knights he's got the camels and the crossbows now with upgrades I went extra forward here with the siege workshop hoping I can do some kind of damage put some pressure on him he spots that Takes down the spirits. And here I am just playing defensive. And here I try and save my siege workshop. Got the pikemen out, skirms, but just don't have enough. He's got way too many numbers. And it doesn't work out for me very well in this game. I try and hold on as long as I can. And there you go. I call it. I went to greet my dress. I actually didn't realize how ahead I was in villagers. So I think his composition was just better. Or I was, I was booming way too hard that I didn't have the military. And here I actually get the castle up. I knew I had a chance against this player because he wasn't as aggressive as he could have been. Like he fully could have just like went around, broke a hole, and raided my economy. I'm up by 12 bills. He keeps going back with his army. He's still on 1 TC. But that's the difference there. Investing the resources into army whereas I'm investing the resources into my economy so I'm on one TC two TC's 
Three TCs, actually. This would set me up more for the long game. And here, being attacked from the left. Garrisoning my vills. And he likes to retreat. Better a micro than I am, for sure. And just mixing up my composition. Don't think it's a very effective. He had numbers and archers. And these Mongols. He actually didn't go for Mangadai, so quite a surprise there. And here, coming for the push. And he's got the camels, archers, skirms. Well, my skirms aren't really doing too much there. They get cleaned up by the camels. And here he has the rams taking down the castle, and that's GG. So. It was a bad call going super aggressive. I think I didn't have enough confidence in my army and I had a bigger economy actually, so could have outlasted, but I didn't balance very well. Um, that was just game one, so let's go into game two. And here's game two against the same opponent. We randomly actually got matched up one game right after the other and we chose the same sieves I went Bulgarians, I wanted to try the same strat again with the forward um, Drush into Man at Arms and they went Mongols so given how poorly I performed in the first game I decided I'm not gonna go for my Militia Rush I'm actually just gonna stick to a Fast Castle build the opponent's probably expecting me to come forward. And so I felt like I could boom, get the castle age, get some castle age units, and stand a better chance against my opponent here. Let's see how his build is. I got hit by the TC, save my scout with three health. Going five on wood, ten on sheep and boar, and then he sends two berries. I have the same as well. This time I want to make sure he doesn't take my sheep, and I get the scout kill. And there you go, congratulating me on the scout kill there. I have th three forward goals. Pretty. Pretty bad map for me, I would say. His map, he's got a side gold and a back gold. His golds are pretty safe compared to mine. Uh, however, I start walling up early. I'm actually on my way to Feudal Age. Actually, that was him. I'm blue this time. He hit Feudal early. I'm doing my fast castle build he went up with 20 villagers so we'd probably expect either archers or scouts from him and I'm on my way to feudal 29 vills it's a bit um, overkill actually and I start pushing my deer learning how to push deer saves on building farms um, delays the farm time as much as possible save on wood got more than I need on gold really bad in my fast castle build and I built some spearmen defensively thinking he's gonna come for a scout rush and he's coming forward with a variety of units militia some archers one skirm and one spearman Luckily I walled up. I'm all walled up here. And he's got the uh, he's 
took took me off a of gold. I have enough gold, so that's okay. And my forward bear is everything's forward. Pretty pretty bad map for me. So I pull these guys off. I have enough food to go up the castle age. Just need my feudal age buildings to go up. So the stable should do that for me. I have a market. And at this time I don't mind. His units are pretty weak. Low tier units. And I click up to castle age. So Head and Vills, clicking up the castle age, continue to wall on my base. I got some spears and some scouts. Should be able to clear that up if I need to. He just takes his time attacking my buildings. And I got a man at arms. So I got enough defensive units to protect myself. Putting up a defensive archery range to make some skirms. Let's see how his resources are. He's working his way up towards going up to castle. I think he's got too much on gold. He stopped making units. Actually, he has a bunch of archers in his archery range. And he seems to be fully walled as well. And on his way to castle age. So he brings his army back. I start producing knights, skirms, long swords, just producing whatever I can to get anything out as fast as possible. And I got the villager lead again, 41 vils, 35. And let's see what happens here. I'll try and break in. Too many archers though. I actually could have broken in there, I was almost there. But yeah, the quick wall of house behind. And I pull back. I don't know if this is a low either thing of pulling back your armies. But we've both done it in both games. It actually gives your opponent a chance to kind of reset. Whereas the constant pressure um, puts them on their heels a bit and makes them panic. Do things that they wouldn't normally do. And I'm on three TCs now. Trying to outboom as much as possible. He has a score lead, so I assumed he was killing me in economy. He had a bunch more bills than me. So I try and outboom him. I went to three TCs. But I think the score is based on the amount of military he has. And here he finds a TC. I garrison quick enough to protect my bills. And here, wish I could have taken the fight a bit closer to the TC with the TC fire, but not a bad engagement. Uh, I got the higher kill death ratio, and I take the score lead there. Twenty more vills in him. If only I knew that would have been more aggressive. That's a pretty big difference in terms of villagers. Continuing to get housed because I continue to produce. My base is a weird shape. This is, um, I had no wood line here. If there was a wood line at the back, it would have been much more easy to wall. I only had one wood line here and one on the top here. He had one wood line, two, three. He had something more easy to wall in. And he keeps coming back and forth. I get out a mangonel. Actually had a good mangonel shot there. Booming like crazy over this guy. 33 bills. I try and hold with whatever military I have. I feel like I'm behind in military just because I've been putting so much into my boom. I'm trying to get out some production and my production is way too slow. Onto my 4TC here. And scouting the relics. I don't think he took any relics. He is making a defensive castle. Just getting ready in case I come forward. But the amount of knights he ha amount of archers he has actually does really well. I was able to take those camels at least. So I'm happy with that. I pull back. I have my monks for defense. Been watching a lot of 
the King of the Desert, Desert and the high rate of players. They usually include Siege and Monks, but the Micro is just way too much to do that. And I've almost doubled, I've doubled his economy and villagers. This is, this should be GG, but that's something I have to learn about being aggressive and balancing my, my games, making more military. My military is clearly not enough to hold. And I built some creep posts defensively. I went way too high in economy. I'm at 119 bills. And I almost had that relic there. Good job of him to snipe, snipe my monk. And here, the villagers are pretty unsafe. Got all some pikemen here. Clean that up. Easy clean up there and being raided here on this front. Just the scouts can be so annoying. And I react a bit late. I don't think I lost any bills there. It's nice having the TCs beside um, all your villagers. Easy garrison, easy kill. And he's got a bunch of camels, a bunch of archers. Crazy composition. I think I scouted the next relic I want to go for. A lot of idle time between building my, my creepos. I think I stopped producing vills actually, so now I'm actually able to produce a military. And I actually went Imperial Age pretty early. I think I should have actually built more of a military to defend. I think the Meganel is good at keeping him at bay. He's built very forward. Let's see his resources. I'm pretty well on resources. So once I get to Imperial Age, it should be okay. And he's working his way up. With about half the bills that I have. So if we were watching, if I was watching this like I am now, I'd be like, okay, I'm way ahead. Just start pumping out a bunch of military. And you can take care of this. And I think that's what I do. Build a bunch of archery ranges to get out a bunch of skirms. He just has way too many archers. And way too many camels. I need to mass my army. I think that's my next step. And he goes in. I get worried here because I don't have much to defend. I pull in everything into my TC. So the creepos and my TC shooting at his army. And the halberdiers come out now, which help a lot. And I use the bills to take out these rams. A little too late. At least all his camels are gone. That's a huge win for me. And now these skirms can take care of the archers. And the villagers are taking care of the rams. And now I've got some production on the left side. Skirm production and halberdier production. Expanding out, collecting resources. I still have my forward golds. And a defensive castle here. Someone on a hill, and I think it's start producing a treb. He's on his way to Imperial Age. He's got two defensive castles. Our bases are pretty close to each other. My guys just keep attacking. Or he's baiting my units. He comes close to bait my units. So a lot of micro involved there. I've got 20 idols. I think the, it was uh, all the idols. Um, here and here I got some conics I send these conics to the side oh oh my gosh did I not see that okay so my conics saw that okay nice but I didn't see that TC there and there he goes he realizes I realized too late 
And actually, yeah, I just clicked them in. I didn't actually look at what was happening. I could have sniped so many bills there. However, I go right into the economy. And on the front, we got a battle here. I'm treving him from one side, defending on the other side. I don't have enough military on this side. And if you did hear that, he rang the bell, making most of his economy idle. I'm pop capped. And he goes in for the raid, the counter raid. And these conics do so well. So when they go down, let's see if we can see one go down. They got a second life. They got two lives. These units are amazing. And they send my, my halves back into my base. Good thing I made 120 vils. So, you know, I'm not behind actually. I'm still 23 vils ahead, even though I've lost about 20. And at this point, clearing out his army, his raid. And there we go. He calls it GG. And that's it. So, funny playing the same opponent two games in a row. I got to learn about the way he plays in the first one, get some confidence even though I lost the first one. And boom, a bit too hard, could have been a bit more aggressive. So that's something that I need to work on. And pretty helpful to watch these games over. It's one thing to play, but another thing to see what's happening in real time as well. So thank you guys for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel and watch out for more.